Hey, what's up, students? Let's do the back it up, Terry. Match the given coordinate points to the graph or graphs they satisfy. So here's what you're going to do. You're just going to go one coordinate point at a time and then see if it hits green only, green and black, all three green, excuse me, purple and black, just purple, just black, or nothing. So this is missing, this white space means it misses all three of the graphs. So here we go, let's go one corner point at a time. Zero and seven, so zero and seven is right, ooh, it's right on the boundary line, but it's a dashed boundary line, so that actually misses uh, the black graph. So zero and seven, you are gonna be a none scenario. Zero and seven is not gonna satisfy any of these graphs, right? Next one. Negative 7 and 8. Here we go. Negative 7 and 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All right, so that lands in only the purple. Purple only. Gotcha. Here we go. 5 and 6. 5 and 6 right there. Okay. Now that is the green and black region. So as you can see, we have the black on this side, then we have the green, so that's the green and black region. So here we go, green and black matches right there. Zero and five, zero five right there. That's in the black only section right there. Five and five, five and five. Wait a second, that's not right. One of these corner points is not correct. Is there a green only? There should be a green only. Yeah, maybe I meant for this one. Let's go back one. I think I made a mistake here in my example, so forgive me here. We're going to change one of these. Let's make this five and... Uh, let's, you know what? Let's leave that one alone. Let's, let's change this one. Let's make this one five and... Uh, I don't know, seven or eight. Here we go. Six, seven, and eight. We'll make you five and eight. There you go. All right, so five and eight, now that I've made a brand new corner point, five and eight is going to be all the way up here. Five, six, seven, eight. So five and eight is right there. That's going to be green only. Right across, that works out kind of nice. Negative three and three. Here we go. So negative three and three is right there. That's in the black and purple. Purple and black, same difference. Gotcha. Uh, ooh, we have two to go. Now here's what I would do. Before you do the not available, I would just do all the actual coordinate points because it's like, what do you mean graph not available? Like, oh, I don't know. Let's graph one and negative one. Here we go. So one and negative one. Okay, so one and negative one is green, purple, and black. So it's all three. So the only one that's not available is purple and green. So if you notice, um, there is purple and green, but not only purple and green. So this is a purple and green area, but it's purple, green, and black. So there is no section where it's just purple and green. So there is no only purple and green section. So not available. Um, that's about it. So we'll just go one corner point at a time. Hopefully um, you don't have any screw ups like I did, um, but uh, just go one corner point at a time and then match it to the section. Um, just be very, very careful. Just try to try to section them out. Which ones are green only? This is green only. This section would be black only. This one would be purple only. This is the section of purple and black. This is the search section of green and black. And this is the all of them section right there. So if you want to go through and kind of, well, this is the none. There we go. So that's just green, just black, just purple. So if you kind of go through and do all of those sections, that'll make life uh, very, very easy for you. So just take your time, go one corner point at a time, and everything will be okay. All right, see you in class.